Hello friends, it's The Stitches. Today I have a bit of a more experimental DIY to show you. We're gonna transform some shoes. A little bit ago, I got these Simple Mary Janes off of Depop for a pretty decent price, and they're exactly what I wanted in shape, but the color is a little off for my wardrobe. They also have quite a few scuffs. It's pretty easy to paint shoes. Angelus leather paints are super affordable, and it's pretty much the best leather paint. It's a common staple in most costume shops. You have to use a leather paint on PVC or vinyl because Obviously, regular acrylic paint is just gonna flake off. I've seen some people have moderate success with spray paint, but the finish just usually isn't as nice, and these paints are literally the same price as a can of spray paint, so you might as well use the right tool for the job. The paints are applied just like any other, Make sure you start with a clean and dry base. And it will take several coats. These shoes are just a mild color change and it took five coats. So don't be surprised when the first coat comes out streaky because the first coat is always hella streaky. Each layer will be a little bit more opaque so just keep going until it looks good. To protect the paint from wear and tear, we'll use a finisher. This layer is basically like the lacquer that you would put on wooden furniture, just without the fumes. The finisher is very thin and can drip pretty easily, so be careful not to get it on your clothes. It, it can literally just drip off of your paintbrush. You'll know that you have enough coats when the shoe is no longer slightly sticky to the touch even after it's been allowed to dry for 24 hours. I find that three coats is usually normal, but alas, this is a double feature. Now that we know the basics of painting shoes, let's get a little bit more advanced. I decided to turn these Dolls Kill platforms that I honestly considered tossing because of the poor quality in combination with the poor condition, but I figured, hey, let's decorate them. They can't get any worse. Scrap vinyl is great for this kind of project. I wanted a closed toe with some scalloped details. For maximum durability, we'll use a two-part epoxy to hold everything on. I've also found that photo clips from the Valentine's Day section that you bought without knowing what to do with them make surprisingly nice crafting clamps. I also ran out of epoxy halfway through. These tubes hold less than you think. I didn't get this particular brand for any other reason than it was the cheapest. After everything has been glued, we'll paint the base of the shoes hot pink. The hot pink and banana yellow together is kind of odd, but it sort of reminds me of a Barbie that I had when I was a kid, and I kind of dig it. I definitely noticed that the paint didn't want to stick to this ultra glossy fabric, whatever this holographic fabric is made out of. So I don't know how long the paint will last, but every time I wear these platforms, they break a little bit more. So I'm not particularly worried about the longevity.
The scallop detail will be white, and I will say one thing about the white version of the Angelus paints is that it isn't as opaque as the other colors, and it will need more layers to get the same coverage. I think it just doesn't have as much pigment in it because it's just the white pigment. The first pair of shoes that I painted came out perfect. This is the staple Mary Jane that I was looking for. It's simple, it's the right shade of pink, they're perfect now. I'm also weirdly less concerned about damaging them when I wear them and walk around in them because they don't have all of the scuffs covering them anymore, so it honestly feels like they're a brand new pair of shoes. The platforms may not be a staple that I'll have for years to come, but this was a pretty dramatic transformation. I really enjoyed working on this second project because it was nice to have the low stakes, honestly. I wasn't at all worried about ruining these shoes because they were already ruined and it gave me the freedom to really do whatever I wanted and I think I really learned from this project quite a bit. Even though the results aren't perfect by any means, I feel way more prepared to take on future shoe renovation projects now. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed working on these projects. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.